your bride and groom, Mr. and Mrs. Jason Wilkum. salt on the bread. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, ha'motzi lechem min ha'or. Amen. A tradition in our family every Hanukkah to light the Hanukkah, and this is something that Natalia has done all her life because all her life she's lived with me. So I am going to observe that tradition by having Natalia light the candles while I say the buckets. How's that for a deal? Matches, so I'll light the match. Because this is a, a brand new occasion, uh, occasion of their wedding, we're going to, uh, the Shachiano, even though this isn't the first night of Hanukkah, but we will add that. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech halom, ma'asher kudoshan b'mitzvah sal betzivano l'hadlit ve'shel Hanukkah. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech halom, she'asa nisim la'avotena ba'yamim ha'im ba'zman ha'zeh. Baruch <laughs> Kadei lahodo. Ma'o. Uh, 
Sorry, I'm not the chazan. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give him a big round of applause. <laughs> they join us in the middle of the dance floor. It's time for them to share their first dance as husband and wife. Give them a big round of applause. I've been trying to feel right. I've been living on the night. I don't think you're right for him. Look at what it might have been if you took the bus to Chinatown. I've been standing on the night. I have a Bowery. You said.
19, his, uh, his Laws of Marriage, uh, chapter 19, 3, sets out that the woman should have an absolute right to choose her mate. That is not necessarily the pattern of the last... Uh, number of millennia, but it's been Jewish law from the very beginning. Now let me tell you how that got established. Back in uh, uh, Genesis 24-3, I think, no, 24-67, the, uh, uh, Isaac took his bride, Rivka, into his mother's tent and loved her, and she loved him back. And that was an arranged marriage. Sometime later, Jacob went to Iran to find a wife, and he met Rachel. And he was so overtaken by her beauty that he bowed down and he kissed her. And he cried. She was so beautiful and so overwhelming. And that was a marriage that happened because it was love at first sight. So marriage can happen either way by an arrangement or someone just sees the other and they just mutually fall in love. But either way, it's sanctified in Jewish tradition under the laws of Moses. As the rabbi explained when he pronounced the marriage ceremony, by the laws of Moses in Israel. And that tradition was established nearly 4,000 years ago. Since then, there have been a number of wonderful marriages and a lot of commentary on the laws of marriage. And in uh, 
Kiddushin, uh, the, Bab the, uh, uh, the Babylonian Talmud, uh, 41a. The laws uh, that bring a married couple together has to be based upon love. The kind of love where the commandment is explained, not as it's translated normally, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Your neighbor's dog may leave things on your lawn and he won't come and pick them up. You're not going to love him so much. But the real translation in 41a uh, in, the, in the Talmud is that you should love your friend as you love yourself. And there is no closer friend that you can have than your mate. And that is, that friendship is what has to bring you together. And that is where this love will grow and develop. And in the Sheva Brocha, the seven brochas that were sung by the Kazan, uh, there was an expression, Aravim uh, uh, Ahav, Ahuvim, Re'im Avuhi, Avuhi, uh, Avuhim. And it, may, it means loving friends, that, these, that the marriage relationship is a marriage of really close friends. And all of you have come here to witness this sanctification of a marriage bond as friends of the married couple. So I had the privilege of pronouncing the toast to the married couple the other night. And I'm going to do something just a little bit different. I am going to toast you people their friends who are bringing them into the Jewish society to become a real Jewish couple raising Jewish children for which I bless them dearly. So I raise my glass and I say, thanks be given for joys brought to us by friends. Tis gold from dross alloys upon which life itself depends. I, I first want to say that there are a lot of people here right now. Um, and I'm the one who's supposed to come up here and call a spade a spade. This kid right here probably knows about a third of you. Honestly. I mean, look at this kid. I will ask all of you how many people he knows. He's, you're probably going to say about 20. 20, 20 people. He's had 20 friends in his entire life. 20 friends in his entire life. So I, I guess it pays to have a beautiful, loving, popular wife, as, as well as parents who are uh, mafas in the uh, L Long Island catering mafia. <laughs> it, it, it must pay. It must pay. You know, I wish that on me one day. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Let me uh, open up my speech right now. Where's my podium? Family, friends, and uh, distinguished guests, if any. I am extremely honored this evening to uh, stand before you as the best man at this truly lovely wedding and share my true thoughts about my closest friend and brother for the past 12 plus years and his beautiful bride, Natalia. I've been waiting for this event for a long time and I'm thrilled that I'm still here des uh, despite my controversial rehearsal dinner speech. If anyone who wasn't there would like, to re uh, would like a replay of that, feel free to meet me at the bar in about 30 minutes. I'll be drinking Johnny Walker Blue. Uh, oh yes, there is more. There is more. 
Before I share my thoughts about this wonderful couple, I have to give a huge shout out to Jason's parents, Mama and Papa Will. Where are they? Where are they? Look at you two lovely birds. You two are lovely. Who have always shown me so much love throughout the years, regardless of what trouble Jason and I managed to uncover. You have always referred to me as Jason's brother from another mother, and I am proudly accept that as your second son. We've all had a barrel of laughs together, whether it be in Ithaca, New York City, Las Vegas, or Long Island. Your gracious hospitality, as reflected before us tonight, is second to none. And you have no doubt outdone yourself once again with this tremendous wedding bash at the inaugural event of this new venue, Gala Events NYC, ladies and gentlemen. Gala Events! I know you knew I was going to make a plug. I was going to make a plug. I thought I had seen it all when I went to Rex's Briss, which, which was a bigger production than most weddings and bar mitzvahs I've ever been to, with dancers who were getting stooped by Mr. Wilk the second they left the stage. Oh yes, I was the only one who saw that business transaction go down. The only one who was privileged. Six foot teddy bears, and of course, Johnny Walker Blue, which which Papa Wilk forced us to drink. Well, I guess he didn't have to force us that hard. Natalia, as I said to you in my first speech on Thursday night, and I fully meant it, I really wish you nothing but the best. Nothing but the best. And, and wishing you nothing but the best. I don't expect it, just wishing you. <laughs> I, I, I know how big Daddy Will can be. <laughs> but, but just know that despite his shortcomings, he truly and passionately loves you and only wants the best for you. I remember shortly after the first time you two met and he decided to take you on a quick excursion to Las Vegas, which I, I thought was rather risque. After that, weekend, after that weekend, he called me immediately and in no uncertain terms let me know that he had found the one. Of course, I, I didn't believe him at first and I don't believe anything he says at first. So <laughs> don't, don't be upset about that. But as your relationship continued to strengthen, I could hear in Jason's voice how much he truly loved and cared for you and how he had finally met his match. You have made my brother a better man, and for that I love you very much. And now for Big Daddy Wilk. Yeah. My brother, my best friend for over a decade, what can I say about you that won't get us into trouble again? I can truthfully and sincerely say that throughout my life, through all the ups and downs, smiles and frowns, you have been there for me in so many more ways than you can even know. You have shared so much, we have shared so much laughter together, which often turned into tears, and I will forever cherish these moments. I can't imagine a life without being able to call 516-672-8529 to share my life's lessons with you. <laughs> I mentioned the number here because I decided to memorize that probably the, after six months after we moved to Vegas uh, because I needed to know a number that I could call in case I was in jail and needed some bail money. <laughs> and that's, that's actually the truth. <laughs> <laughs> With you in Las Vegas and me in Los Angeles, it is a welcome relief just knowing that I can continue to watch you up close, evolve into a husband, and maybe someday father, maybe someday father, that will make us all look back on this day with glorious delight. I love you, brother, and can't wait to see what words of wisdom you'll have when I ask you to return the favor. Now, if everyone could please lift their glass. 
I'd like to make a toast to Jason and Natalia. May the two of you share a beautiful, loving life together with a lot of passion and a little pain. Because the pain makes the passion all the better. We all love you very much and we'll always be there for you. L'chaim. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for our best man. And now it's time to hear from our maid of honor. So everybody, please welcome Natalia's sister, Rebecca. Okay, this is embarrassing. I didn't really have anything prepared. I had like a whole rehearsal dinner speech, but I already gave that, so I can't do that again. Um, Natalia, Jason, I love you guys so much. I. I mean, I grew up with Natalia, obviously, and we weren't always super close, but I always respected her more than anything. And now seeing you settling down and seeing you walking down that aisle, I couldn't help but cry a little bit, even though I didn't want to ruin this beautiful makeup that I spent hours on. But, um, but I did, and I'm so excited to see what you guys have to offer in the future, kids and such, and so. I'm gonna end at that, but I love you guys so much and I'm so happy for you.
ladies and gentlemen, give them a big round of applause. My Huckleberry friend,